hey, let's speculate about why people might dislike some word or expression. Now, of course, there are many cases where the thing that the word refers to is something we don't like, so the word also seems unpleasant. So murder is bad, so maybe the word murder also is something we don't love very much. So setting that aside, when it's the word or expression itself that people dislike, why would that be? If you ask people the part that they're, they are aware of, and so what they will typically tell you is, well, it's the word, it's bad, wrong, dumb, illogical. Of course I dislike it because the word is bad. People dislike bad things. I'm skeptical about this. Languages are the way they are for a reason. If there is a word or expression that's in use in a given community, it's because it has a function, it's working. So this is probably not true. So I'm going to suggest what I see as possible actual reasons. And so if you ask people about this, they would not be able to explicitly tell you, usually this would be below the level of awareness. I think this is not frequent, but apparently there are cases where it's just the sound combination, just sensory dislike for that for no reason. And anecdotally, many people dislike the word moist would be an example of this. And I think this doesn't happen very much. This does not explain very many cases of dislike for words. There is a in a case of aversion to new things, just not liking new things. I'll use myself as an example here. I'm in trouble because I don't like the expression reach out, you know, if I can help you, please reach out, something like that. And when I kind of introspect on my feelings about that, it kind of stands out for a new world in which I'm not sure I understand everything that's going on or how people do things or why they do things. I feel like if I think back to a time when people used to contact each other or get in touch, that I, I think I 100% understood what was happening and maybe reach out is part of a world in which I don't fully know what's happening. So that would be a reason to dislike the expression also, because I have difficult feelings related to it. More interestingly, a word or expression might be associated with a group of speakers that's socially stigmatized. They don't get respect. Warsh is associated with Appalachian English and uh, uh, negative perceptions of it, um, unjust negative perceptions. Double negatives are associated with disrespected groups or pronouncing ask as ax also. And finally, another reason that I think has not been studied well at all is maybe the listener has to invest extra energy to process what that word is. And to use um, myself as an example at the end there, from a place of love, from a place of something, that whole expression. Um, well, if you meant lovingly, wouldn't you say that? So does from a place of love mean something more than lovingly? And I'm, I don't know, and I don't like not knowing, so I, I have to put more effort when somebody says from a place of love, or um, when somebody says literally, well, you have to look at the context to know whether it means figuratively or not, and so that's more work. Now, the important thing is this right here, the word being associated with a group of speakers that, that does not get respect, that may well be the main reason that accounts for most words and expressions that somebody dislikes. So this is important. We don't admit it or recognize it, but if this is the reason why people don't um, you know, dislike and criticize some word or expression, then it's a sign of an underlying um, unjust, unequal situation in society which people are um, continuing to reinforce and help uphold with these attitudes towards words. So this could be an important thing.